Migration is an ongoing topic in Europe today. With thousands arriving from the Middle East and Africa, many have little support when they come and most end up living in poor conditions. Dr. Shaden Diab is the founder of Green Refugees, which is a project to help improve the living conditions of refugees living in camps and help them to reintegrate into the host country. I spoke to Dr. Shaden Diab earlier to find out more about her project. Green Refugees is an idea that is, uh, it has happened this year when I see a slew of uh, immigration and refugees come in Europe. And as I'm an expert in uh, technology transfer and in green innovation, I say do should do something for them. And uh, I create uh, this uh, uh, Green Refugees uh, model in Greece. Where I visited a uh, lot of camps there and I choose a camp uh, in uh, the southwest in uh, Greece in order to create a, a green refugees model when the people who are living inside, they live in better way than the other uh, refugees camp. So how has this project been affected for the refugees? There are two parts of this project. The first thing that we are working, what we had done in July with the children in order to uh, uh, improve their awareness about climate uh, change and environmental issues related to the waste management in the, exactly in the camp, using uh, uh, some uh, innovations uh, where they can make it themselves by, uh, in order to improve the quality of uh, air in the camp. And uh, the other part is uh, to think with uh, the refugees how they can create a revenue and outcome for them by recycling the bottles and recycling the residual of food to create uh, a source of energies. And uh, this type of thing can improve their life and uh, create uh, um, a source for them uh, for living which could be better than the others' uh, camp. Has the response been very positive in Greece? Yeah, I see that the refugees um, themselves, they are very positive and they are working with us because it is a mutual work between us and uh, the refugees themselves is what we had done this July, especially with the children. Uh, they want really to know more and to be uh, implicated in that. And they want in order to uh, be integrated in the, in the model and in this system when we are working with innovations. The government themselves, that means the mayor of the city, uh, Dr. Nabil Morati, is a very uh, a smart man. And he is uh, working with us in order to facilitate the, uh, to our access to the camp and to work with the community and local community in order to integrate the refugees in the, uh, in the co local community. And who's funding this? Today, the fund, uh, the funding is, is by ourselves, that is our companies and the other uh, partners who is working with us. Uh, the, just uh, because Greece now is really facing a big problem uh, related to the economical crisis. So the funding is, is com coming now. We are searching another fund in order to go to the third step. But the other fund, it was by uh, the, you know, the, the people or themselves who are fund the campaign, fund the the Green Refugees Project. And do you see this as a way to help other people in crisis on the African continent? Yes, this is the idea that is we today we know that is in 2015, uh, the United Nations estimate that it will be have 50 uh, million of refugees is with coming for other uh, climate change and other conflict. Uh, so the idea is to help other people who can suffer from that um, an example, uh, Africa continent was, uh, unfortunately has a lot of uh, problem related to the military uh, conflict and uh, other, uh, uh, other problems related to the climate change and related to the, uh, that the people, uh, they should move because there is not uh, enough of water or enough of, uh, of energy for them uh, to stay in their town. So the idea is, is to uh, adapt this model to other continents, especially for Africa, and to think together how we can integrate the population in this system to be benefits for them. And what are your next projects for green refugees? We hope that the green refugees is to work with the Morocco uh, government, especially for the COP22, uh, which will be held in Marrakech this year, and to work in order to um, uh, to make this uh, model uh, for uh, uh, African continent and to uh, to think together uh, how we can create uh, from uh, population moving and refugees uh, uh, events 
something which would be positive and to be integrated in a in sustainable way um, in order to pass all the climate change uh, events. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your, to invite me.